Hi YouTube, I'm Derry Peters and I'm 15. In my entry to the UT Space Lab competition, I'm proposing an experiment involving a fish capsule. There are two questions I wish to find an answer from in this experiment. Can a trained goldfish get from A to B in a capsule filled with oxygenated water in condition to microgravity? If so, would this be an advantage or a disadvantage to the fish's psychological and physical well-being? Hypothesis. As the fish would swim forward, it would nudge the capsule, which should result in the overall movement of the capsule, as movement in space is dictated by very small forces, such as airflow. The hope is that this would be a method the fish would be able to use to navigate and explore their surroundings. Method. Before the launch, the fish should be trained to swim towards light. This would be achieved by conditioning them through positive reinforcement. Here is a diagram of the capsule. It should be just the right size to fit the fish inside and should have a hatch to take them out once the experiment is done. The movement of the capsule fish will be compared against some kept permanently in the plastic bag aquarium with no time in the capsules. As well as their movement, observations on their behaviour and health should also be recorded. Expected results. Mama chug fish have already been experimented on in a plastic bag aquarium. On board the Skylab 3 space station, they seem to pitch downwards, swimming in tight circles. As this experiment would involve more intelligent and trained goldfish in capsules, this problem should be overcome with more space to move around in. The idea is named after the, named after the goldfish in the popular TV show American Dad. According to Stephen Hawking, the survival of our species depends upon the ability to colonise other planets. The introduction of ethical farming in space it's one of the most important steps in ensuring that we do so. Thanks for listening to my idea, the Klaus capsule. Uh, please vote for it.